Um, but after until you collect your goals, a couple things I want to go over with um, are co-function identities. So what they're saying is they gave us cosecant of theta, then they also gave us secant of theta. So we are given these two identities. Then they ask us to say, all right, well, if given these identities, what is secant of 9 e minus theta? And I say, well, I don't know. I need to remember what secant of theta minus or of 9 degrees minus theta equals. Well, guys, there's a couple identities that we need to remember. That equals cosecant of theta. The same thing, sine of theta equals 9 degrees minus theta. It's the same thing as cosine of theta. And tangent of theta equals 9 degrees minus theta equals cotangent of theta. All right, and these work back and forth. I can flip flop the cosecant and the secant. I'm not going to do that. But you guys understand these work, you know, there's a reciprocal. They go back and forth with each other. So these are all these properties that I told you guys to write down. They're on page 282, page 283, right? I want you guys to write all these down. So therefore, if they ask, if they say the secant of theta is pi over 3, so let's just go and write that over. Um, so the secant of theta, I'm sorry. What the heck did I write? That's not. Nine degrees minus theta is equal to cotangent. So secant of 90 degrees minus theta is equal to cosecant. So what they ask is, what is the secant of 90 degrees minus theta? Well, we know from our cofunction identities, that's equal to cosecant of theta. And in the problem, they gave us what cosecant of theta was. Cosecant of theta, square root of 13 over 2. So that's how you do your final answer. Does that make sense? All right, you guys have to know these identities. Write them down if you did not have them. They're on page 282. Why are you giving me like you're in the headlights? Uh, eyes. Oh. Okay, I'll go another problem on why that works.